around New Jersey, around the clock. This is News 12 New Jersey. Thank you, James. Coming up on News 12 New Jersey, what happens to those plastic bottles and containers after you toss them into the recycling bin, assuming you do? Garden State Green's up next. Speaking of going green, have you ever wondered what happens to your plastic bottles and containers when you toss them into the recycling bin? Hmm. Well, in this week's Garden State Green, Roxanne Evans takes a look at new ways to give those plastics a second life. New Jersey is the most densely populated state in the country, and so we have the most waste. That's why Rutgers professor Tom Nosker decided to invent a way to use that waste. Plastics that would otherwise end up in a landfill, like cutlery, food containers, and packing materials, combined with more recyclable plastics, can be reused to make a stronger, longer lasting, and less expensive kind of lumber. You can take a milk bottle and you can crush it with your hands, so it's not very stiff but it's really hard to rip into. So you need to put something in to make it stiffer. It's already got the strength. And so a stiffer other kind of plastic is, is the way that I focused on it. It's so strong, in fact, it was used to construct this tank bridge at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. But it all started here in New Jersey. The construction of this bridge in Wharton State Forest resulted in the first cost-effective use of this blend of plastics. This bridge naturally weathers the elements better than traditional bridges. Plus, harmful chemicals aren't required to prevent rot and insect damage. Tom says the material can be used to make railroad ties, decks, docks, levees, seawalls, and the list goes on. In another hundred years, there's going to be this is going to be very commonplace. There will be structures like this all over. Remember, saving the planet can start right here in New Jersey. I'm Roxanne Evans, News 12, New Jersey. Recycled plastics have already been used for railroad ties and other things. We'd like to know what you're doing to keep the Garden State green. Email Roxanne at GardenStateGreen at News12.com. She may use your idea on the air.